From Florida to North Carolina, recovery is now underway after Hurricane Ian. As the response ramps up, many home and business owners in Southwest Florida are only just beginning to assess the damage left behind. Others say they have nothing left at all. All as the death toll continues to rise. ABC's Justin Finch reports from Venice, Florida. Days after Hurricane Ian struck Central and Southwest Florida, new images revealing the troubling transformation. In Volusia County, homes underwater, the roof of this Chuck E. Cheese collapsed. After flooding forced it shut down, a 14-mile stretch of I-75 in Sarasota County has reopened, though rising water levels could cause the critical highway to close again. In nearby Northport, more flooding, neighborhood streets submerged. For many, help can't come soon enough. We just like a little help. I'd like a little help to get my home back in shape because I have nowhere to go. Food and water running low on Sanibel Island, Ian cut them off from the mainland. With the causeway and the bridge out, um, that makes it look you know, really difficult for us to get assets on the island. These newly released satellite images highlighting the storm's destruction. Governor Ron DeSantis saying the return to normal won't happen overnight. We understand that they're working on connectivity. We understand they're working on cell phone service. We understand they're working on uh, getting getting the electrical back. Further north, coastal South Carolina now recovering from Ian's Category 1 landfall Friday. We live two doors down from the pier. Okay. We watched it crumble and watched it float by with the American flag still floating. And it's pretty intense. The weekend storm now churning northeast. The White House says some 44,000 utility workers are fanning out across storm ravaged areas to restore power. Some aiming to have their customers back online by tonight. Justin Finch, ABC News, Venice, Florida. And if you'd like to help those who lost everything, we're hosting an Ian Relief Fund tomorrow morning, benefiting the American Red Cross. Phone lines will open shortly before our midday broadcast, which is when we'll also provide you with the number.